I'll be showing you and telling you guys what I do at school. And let's get started. P.S. Sorry if I have messy hair. I just woke up. And DJ Anna is still sleeping. So this is our timetable, as you can see. This Today I'm going to be doing part one, which is Monday. And on Monday, first we do guided reading. Guided reading, we don't really, at, in the morning first, for 30 minutes, we just do about like reading. We don't do guided reading yet. We do like, um, we do uh, reading and some activities, like little thing, for example, drawing and finishing off stuff you haven't finished. So yeah. And next is writing. I don't know if you can see, but right there, it says writing. And in writing, we do literacy. Yeah, literacy or English. And in that, we right now we're looking at information reports and we're brainstorming and writing introduction. We're looking at information reports and in information reports we're looking at introduction right now so that's what we're doing and it's very fun because now we're we did a test about pets and writing an information report and then now we're all doing vegetables no fruits sorry fruits and yeah we're writing a report about fruits it's if you don't know what an information report is, it's basically not a story, it's real facts and it's third person. You can't give your own opinions. Opinion, I mean. And after writing it, literacy after, that's topic. Topic slash reading. Let me just turn the camera around. Right there. In reading, what we do is we in topic. It says also topic, right? So what we do in topic is we um, right now we're looking at our changing earth, and we got into partners and learning about a natural disaster. And my partner and I are learning about earthquakes. I've Wait, tsunamis are earthquakes. And I found out that there's a 100% chance that there's an earthquake today, but they're too small for people, humans to feel them. And earthquakes happen even on the moon. Isn't that mind blowing? Okay, after that is break and at break we just play and you know, break, break break yeah break with my friends and stuff we always do like challenges and just play around go to the haven and haven is a place we go there every friday but on friday we forgot to go there it's not a big deal but still it's a big deal to me on friday and other days we sometimes go to the haven to relax but mostly it's for people who are upset but we just go there anyways and on Friday we go there because one teacher told us that um, you should go there on Friday because that teacher is there and that we just started going there when I was upset once with my friends and that teacher helped me with my friend to be friends again and then we just started going there on Friday. Wait, that's a totally different story to where I said you should go there or something. But anyways... So we meet this little friend, let's just call him S. And because I'm not, I don't, I, I don't have permission to say their name. So S is in year one and sometimes we hang out with S because he, S is one of my friend's neighbor. So yeah. Sorry if I keep on saying and or so or yeah or something because I don't know. Next. And that's the longest, one of the longest periods. It's like, sorry for the screen. It's like, how many? I think it's 
about 30 minutes or, or one hour, I think. So mostly, most of the time we get into groups and do math work. But once, this is a funny story, it's very short, long story short, I'm going to say it in a short way. Um, in videos, if you hear me say dude, it's because of this. So, two other people in my group with my friends, they they keep on saying dude, dude, I got the answer, dude. And we just started to interrupt them and say, dude, hi, dude, how are you doing, dude? And that's just how it all started. And then me and my friends keep on saying dude. And that's just, they get so annoyed <laughs> so funny and we just say dude everywhere and sorry if you hear me say dude in some videos and yeah and math we just do some group work and let me show you another time table thing so if you look at this table thing right here uh it says in math week one we did problem solving group task and in topic we did week one we did respect and routines and stuff but now we're doing our changing earth i told you that and now we're doing next week we're doing convert measurements and i'm excited for that so yeah and in english the first week we did spelling test and novel or inferences and we're doing information as I told you already and pre-assessments note-taking grammar handwriting spelling and reading and after math we have library I love books well they're not my favorite hobby but like I like reading books because they're they calm me down and they're very relaxing and in library sometimes the librarian she reads us a book sometimes and tell us tells us about a book and sometimes we just read on our own and check out some books we like and i have this really cool book right now um it's upstairs it's called uh to be honest this is so awkward it's a novel written by text by lisa green wild i think and it's an amazing book. It's one of my favorite books, but I also love David Williams and Roald Dahl and, you know, other books. I also love Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. Sorry if, if my accent is weird. Harry Potter is like, I watched the movie for the first time ever at my friend's house when we had a sleepover, and it was amazing. Yeah, it's one of my favorite books as well and my favorite movie and then after that it's lunch we just go to the cafeterias um refectory or lunch hall whatever you can call it and we just have some lunch sometimes there are french fries sometimes there's burgers sometimes there's there's always pasta most of the time and there's rice there's meat there's sometimes sometimes nachos and i love nachos but i'm it didn't come it's they're not serving it yet they're not serving it yet and i really want some at school and they have this um beef sauce with nachos or you can call them doritos and they're so good and after lunch, once you finish lunch, you can go down to the playground and you can play for a little while until the bell rings. Oh, I forgot to say, the bell rings at 8 in the morning, 8 a.m. And you have to get there before 8 and we do the register. And after lunch, we do well-being. It's about, um, it's a new subject in our school. It's where you focus on your, it's like, relaxing and meditation sorry i kept on showing the screen i know that that could have been annoying anyways so well-being we just relax and we have this chime where you ding and you raise your hand when you don't hear the chime anymore and i really like that lesson because after lunch we do it every monday and after lunch we're very you know like 
some people run around, but some people just relax. But some, most of the people have, like, sorry, I keep on saying, like, you just run around and stuff, so you get tired and, I know, out of breath. So it's the time where you relax and calm yourself and talk about respect and lots of cool things. For example, like, ugh, stop saying like. We have this song called Choices we learned in choir. I'll talk about choir in part four. I couldn't find the song because I don't know why, but I couldn't find it. But I, I'll try to remember. I'm so forgetful. I can't remember the song. But if I do find it, I'll tell you guys. And let's just move on to the next. After all, being is modern foreign language. And I learned Chinese in that. And I'm going to show you a video. It's going to be so embarrassing. It's me talking Chinese. And I'm very bad at Chinese. This was at school. Oh, sorry. I'm... Thank you. Sorry about that. Anyways, I was reading it without with the Chinese characters, so it was pretty hard for me, but it was fun and I like learning new languages and and after MFL short for modern foreign language, it's hope time. Yeah, it's home time. But mostly people have like an activity on Monday. I have um, swimming. I have swimming at 4.10. I feel like I have an activity before swimming. Thank you, mommy. So this is my timetable. Okay, let me show you. Now I only have swimming on Mondays. Do I only have swimming on Mondays, Anna? She just woke up. Do I? She's still tired. This is my timetable. This is very messy handwriting. I'm in Sharks, which is stage seven. And after Sharks is novels, and after novels is Krakens. And Krakens is the highest, not the highest, but second highest. And after Krakens is high level performance. And after that, you could go to the Olympics. That's what my coach said.